figured out finally how crazy is this anyway i'm trying the different apps to do my videos with and this today we're live on youtube and i don't know what it's doing it's for some reason it doesn't like my bluetooth or whatever it keeps maxing out the volume and blowing my ear out anyway topic today is getting your posts seen by 100 percent of your audience and apologize for the wind apparently the wind reduction is not working for some reason maybe it has something to do with youtube i don't know anyway when you whenever you're on social media especially the the big one here is flake book a lot of your posts are not seen by your fans even though they're subscribed to your channel your your page or your news feed. And they do this so they can make more money selling advertising. That makes sense. It, it's just the way you play the game, and that's okay. But if you want it to be the way it used to be in the good old days, and you can have your post seen by every one of your fans, the key is to have them in an area, in a place, where you're not blocked by the platform, where you're not held back by rules that someone else made so that they can charge you money to get your fans to see what you've got. Do these places exist? Oh yeah, they do. And they're a heck of a lot cheaper and more secure and more fun than social media. Not to mention, a lot of the social media places and Facebook in particular, Google is not able to index and search all of the stuff that you post on there so you're kind of not getting all the bang you could be getting for your buck that way either and all this adds up to far fewer people seeing your message less interaction fewer sales and less money which is a drag for everybody except for of course the platform that's charging you to reach those people but now you're probably wondering maybe you even figured out what it is how could you do this? Well, you take the people from any social media platform that you want and you bring them into a private area. They're not going to be distracted. They're going to pay attention to what you've got to say because nothing is filtered by the platforms, which are forums. And a lot of people think, oh, wow, that's, that's so old school. Nobody uses forums anymore. False. <laughs> that is absolutely untrue as a matter of fact most of the higher level professional marketers when they tell you to learn about your market one of the main places they tell you to go are forums why because people can say a lot more than they could i'm going to say anything they want but they can say a lot more than they can on these social media platforms that stifle free speech and opinion and everything because someone thinks you're being a meanie or whatever it is, and they don't like your political views or the fact that you're actually trying to earn a living, so they hold you back. In forums, none of this stuff exists. As a matter of fact, every time you post on a forum, if you've got a killer uh, signature on there, that link is sent out and indexed by Google. The threads are indexed by Google. You know all those things where you want to get all the likes and everything on Facebook so that Facebook will show you love and show your stuff to more people? Well, on a forum, not only does everybody get alerted to the threads that they're participating in, this increases the interaction. Google, in fact, indexes your articles, your blog posts, and the threads. And this brings people from elsewhere in towards your content, which is where you want them to be so that you can interact with them. Now, you may be thinking, well, I don't want to get into a forum and everyone's on Facebook and this and that. And I'm here to tell you, Facebook exists to bring people from there to where you want them to be. I, as a matter of fact, I have quit certain very high, very good stuff. But the reason I quit them is because the only way I could get their, their videos and so on was on Facebook. And 
the only delivery they had was digital for their newsletter. So I quit it because number one, I, I didn't go on Facebook at all. As a matter of fact, the only reason I go in there now is to meet people and then talk to them somewhere else. And I got lost for a second there. <laughs> and, and if you're not doing that, and well, for me, it just made me feel bad every time I was on there. So I was staying away from it. I enjoy forums. I like what they have. I like the honesty. I like the fact that whatever I say is going to be put out in front of all the people that are interested in hearing it. And there are no extra costs or anything. If you've got any type of group, and forget secret groups on Facebook if you think that's going to work. It's not. Because they're constantly and consistently distracted by all the other crap going on. So even the, the difference between that group and a group on a forum is you control everything that's in there. All the stuff has the benefits that I was talking about before. You're not held back. You're not charged extra for things. And your fans aren't constantly being bombarded by crap that's going to pull them away from your message. So if you haven't looked at a forum lately, now may be the time. I hear Facebook is losing subscribers in droves anyway, but that may or may not be true. For you, though, if you're a marketer especially, go to someplace quieter where you can have a nice interactive talk with your fans. You'll be glad you did. That's all I got for now. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out. If only I knew how to end it. I'll be out as soon as I learn how to turn it off. Okay, rotate it back. This is interesting, man. YouTube loves you so much they don't even want you to shut it off. Is this it? Is the X it?